Hey guys, Jill here for Premiere Basics, a weekly series where I'll teach you all the ins and outs of Adobe Premiere Pro. Happy New Year, everyone. I hope you all celebrated well. And I was thinking, which tutorial should we start with in 2021? Well, we should start with a bang. So let's create a super nice camera shake. First, we need music with a nice beat. Nope. Nah, not that one. Definitely not. Nope. Yes, that's the one. Okay, now we need some footage and drop it all inside Premiere Pro. Now there are multiple ways to do this, but first let's make the shot a bit more cinematic. I'm going to create a new adjustment layer in the project panel and put this on track number three. Then I'm going to look for the crop effect in the effects panel and drag that to our adjustment layer. From the effect controls panel, I'm going to change the top and bottom value of the crop effect to 14%. Whoppa! Cinematic black bars. Next up is the camera shake itself. Like I mentioned, there are multiple ways to do this. The first one is to use the directional blur effect. But before I'm applying that, I'm going to add another adjustment layer on track number two. And there I put the directional blur effect on. From the effects controls panel, I'm going to set a direction of zero and a blur length of around 35. You can customize this to your likings, of course. Then I'm going to play the clip frame by frame by using the right arrow key. And every new frame, I'm going to place a cut with the add edit tool. Ctrl K on your keyboard. Then I'm going to delete every second frame. You can then place these above the beat in your music. The next method. We're going to apply another adjustment layer to track number two and put the transform effect on there. Uncheck the composition shutter checkbox and set a custom one of 180 degree. Then we're going to play around with the scale, position and rotation properties. Now add some keyframes and animate them by setting a second keyframe a bit further in time and changing the values. We can keep on repeating this action to create multiple shakes, of course. Now, you may already see why we actually place those cinemascopes on there. When we're playing around with values and creating a shake, it could be possible that our clip moves a bit. But because of the cinemascopes, we don't see any borders. <laughs> more about Premiere Pro, After Effects, color grading, filmmaking, and so much more, then head over to the first link in the description down below. For real though, it will bring you to our Skillscare page. And the first two weeks are completely for free. So do it. Click on that link. Start learning right now. Not tomorrow. Not yesterday. Right now. Start learning. For real though, click that first link in the description down below. And that's it for today, guys. I hope you enjoyed this first tutorial of 2021. I'll see you guys next week for a new live stream and a new tutorial. And as always, stay creative.